<laughs> yeah, big mistake not Dynamaxing there, bud. Bada bing, bada boom. You have lost two Pokemon on lead. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021. I have to get used to saying that. 2021 uh, ranked session, aka boost to the top. Now, in previous series, I've always pretty much started from Master Ball tier and ranked up from there. Uh, and the reason was because I would start in like Great Ball tier, do a little live stream where I would rank up to Master Ball tier, and then just record the series from then on out. However, I, I just hated Series 6 so much that I never even got to Master Ball tier on it. I just like didn't play it on, on Cartridge. I would only play it on Showdown. So... Uh, we actually have quite a bit of a ways to go. I uploaded my first session to Patreon, so if you guys want to check that out, that's a bonus video for you guys waiting over there for just $1 a month. Uh, but today we're going to be ranking up to hopefully at least like Ultra Ball tier, and then once we reach Master Ball tier, the official series will like actually begin. We're going to be using my Glacier and Reggie Drago team, which if you guys want the link to that, uh, if you guys want the link to that video where I go in depth and give you the code to it, uh, that'll be in the description down below or at the card at the end wherever I decide to put it. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Do me a favor. If you enjoyed it at any point in time, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and yeah, I, I will be bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. It's been a while since I had to record just straight up laddering sessions. I've just been talking about the game and not so much been playing the game online. So I'm excited. Like this is actual ranked. Uh, hopefully I can find games and I'm not too late <laughs> to the party. Hopefully I can actually get into Master Ball tier uh, without having to get like a million attempts at finding a single game. But let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like a pretty outdated team, Series series 4 even, like not even Series 5. I mean, I suppose they lose just straight up to the Whimsicott Regidrago team. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect the first couple of matches to be all that competitive, and that's purely because uh, usually in the lower tiers you have less experienced players, players with incomplete teams, etc. Uh, so for the first couple of sessions it might not be the most competitive stuff but uh, as soon as we reach master ball tier it'll start to get a little bit more <laughs> it'll start to get a little bit more stressful and fun so yeah uh, for now i guess we're just going to be stomping the lower ladder with reggie drago for all i know like what's going to happen right now is i'm just going to lose this first match but <laughs> like just get absolutely whopped by i don't know whopped is is whop really the right word to use there marcos I am i going to get whopped by gastrodon who knows <laughs> i don't think that's the word i should be using anymore <laughs> mopped up by gastrodon I mean, Gastron is kind of like a mop. He absorbs water. Oh, I keep forgetting. In, in this series, I'm supposed to add, like, a comment question of the day. So, question of the day, guys. How did you find my channel? I'm really curious. A at what point did you find my channel? Are you an older subscriber or a newer subscriber? Because we've, we've been growing like crazy. I feel like I'm going to hit 20,000 by the end of the year if I keep up the grind. So, yeah. I, I just really appreciate all the support we've been getting. Okay, it looks like they've locked in their choices. I think Reggie Drago just goes in, to be honest. All right, let's see what we got. So they lead off with Darmanitan Duraludon. That is Reggie Drago food, 100% Grade A Reggie Drago food. If he doesn't Dynamax the the Darmanitan, it's just gonna drop. And if he doesn't Dynamax at all on this lead, I just pick up two free KOs. So I'll Tailwind up and go for the Dragon Energy, the big Dragon Energy. And let's see if either of his Pokemon can eat this hit, because if, if he doesn't Dynamax either one of these, they're both going down. That's the thing here. I think he would probably Dynamax Duraludon to live the hit, and I'm pretty cool with that, because I'd rather have Darmanitan go down. Yeah, Darmanitan can be a threat, but... Oh, it looks like he didn't Dynamax. Let's, let's just pick up this quick double KO. <laughs> yeah, big mistake not Dynamaxing there, bud. Bada bing, bada boom, you have lost two Pokemon on lead. Yup. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's always a fun way to start the video. I uh, I don't expect them to win anymore, just because like I have taken such an oppressive lead here. I mean, if there's a Corviknight, they have a chance. It is Gyarados, okay. What else do you have? Corviknight? Chandelure. Alright, we should be good to go. If it's Focus Sash Chandelure, they can set up Trick Room. But even if they do set up the Trick Room, I just win with my Stack Attacka. So, 
came prepared. Let's go ahead and set up a fake tears on this Gyarados, and we will go for another big dragon energy. And they just forfeit. Sweet. So, quick win. Up to rank 8. Okay. Thank you. I need the protein. Bro, I've been following like this YouTube channel called Remington James. That's just like a cook a cookbook channel about how to make like just good food. Oh, wow, that was a salt vest. Uh, just how to make like good, healthy food. And I, I don't know, like there's this protein brownie I've been making that's just been an absolute bomb of protein. It's just so good. And I've been having it for like dessert every day, and it's been a it's been a real like just absolute useful tool when it comes to weight loss. And also putting on muscle. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of weightlifting, so the muscle building is, is important to me as well. Alright, let's face Nia. Peony's daughter, if I'm uh if I'm correct here. And it looks like they face or we're facing a, a more standard team. Tornado's tri uh, Tornado's Tailwind could be a little bit problematic on the lead, but they also only have one fairy type, so um Maybe I could go Trick Room mode. If they don't lead off Landers, the Trick Room mode's pretty free. Yeah, um, I mean, they just have to not lead off Landers is the thing. That's really it. And then I can win with Trick Room, so I'll go with that. I'll go Stack Attack it in DD. I will bring the Cinderace in the back with the Glacier, and we should be good to go. Or maybe I'd bring Regidrago with Glacier. I'll do that. I really like that this uh, Regidrago is flexible. It functions under Trick Room or Tailwind. Because if you look at it, we're going to be underspeeding that Landorus. Maybe underspeeding the Metagross, depending on if it's max speed or not. We're probably underspeeding that... Um, we're probably underspeeding that Rillaboom as well. And pretty much everything on his side of the field, barring like the Metagross and the Politoed. So, uh, easy Dragon Energy under Tailwind or Trick Room, depending on which one we decide to go with for each matchup. He's taking a minute to pick his Pokemon. Alright. Oh, this man's got Tim's. Tapu Koko Tornadus, that is called a free trick room, my friends. That is called a free trick room. We can trick room right up here and follow me away this hit. Tapu Koko did not get close combat in the uh, in the update, so we're, we're good to go. Wow, this if, if you didn't bring Landorus, this thing's going in. This thing is absolutely going in. He was trying to call the uh, Regidrago lead, and that's why this is such a like solid team. Uh, if, if they try to call the Regidrago lead, they absolutely lose to the trick room lead. So we'll trick room up here. And follow me. And he really doesn't have any counterplay to that. Let's see if he taunts. There's the Volt Switch. Makes sense. Probably Landers coming in if he brought it. I'm hoping there's no Landorus, because if there isn't, I'm in a really good spot. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, but I feel comfortable just going for an Expanding Force this next turn and switching in my Glacier. There's the Hurricane, he actually lands it. Maybe I just get Glacier in for free. Yeah, it looks like Glacier just, is just going to come in for free, so this is actually a really good spot for me. Trick Room up. Get in the Glastrier. And I kind of want to call him switching out the, the Landris, but I almost don't need to because I'll be picking up a KO regardless. I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Rock Slide here to hit both Pokemon. And I will max Hailstorm into the uh, Tornadus. I think that's my play, actually. Just double into Tornadus. Because Landris is going to switch out anyways, and I'd rather just get whatever comes in here. Yeah, there's the Tapu Koko. It'll be taking a decent amount from Rock Slide despite the, uh, despite the Intimidate. 
And if I can build up momentum with this glass shear, I'm in a really good spot. I'm hoping it's focus sash in the tornadus as well. So I'll uh, get my plus one here. So even if he does intimidate me, uh, the chilling nay will let me get back up to neutral. If it's not focus sash, then uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up a KO on the Tapu Coco. Regardless of what happens here, I think I get a KO. I mean, unless he protects. That's really it. So the rock slide. Okay, Tapu Coco avoids. That's fine. Because I'll get my plus one. Or my neutral. Technically. <laughs> Alright. And uh, Max Hailstorm will be doing a, a lot. It will it will KO. That is that is what's happening. I, I'm getting a KO. <laughs> and I mean, I can just go for another Rock Slide into Max Hailstorm into the Tapu Coco slot. If anything, the Landers just comes in and switches back out. To try to get the Intimidate. So if I can just keep up the pressure, I'm in a pretty good spot. He hasn't Dynamaxed yet as well. So, we're good. There's the Metagross. Okay. I mean, Body Press into Max Quake will do it, so I think I'll just go for that. We'll just Body Press and Max Quake. Uh, it might be it might be a little bit risky, but I'm, I'm willing to go for it. I'm willing to go for it. He has to bring in the Landers if he wants to survive the hit. Maybe I should have just gone for the for the max uh, quake into the Tapu Coco here. I don't know. I can't really afford to let him waste my turns of Dynamax. Or ooh, if he goes into Landorus for the Metagross, I might have just misplayed hard. I probably just I probably should have just targeted Tapu Coco. That was probably the safer play. Okay, the Dynamax. That's good. Uh, Dynamax is not best case scenario, but better than if he switched in Landorus right there. Dang, I kind of wish I brought the Cinderace instead of the Drago just to function outside of Trick Room. There's the Body Press. Get some nice damage there. Can Quake KO. Please KO. Plus one Quake. You got this, man. You got this, man. You got this, man. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's a weakness policy. That is a weakness policy. Yep. I mean, he dies to Hail in two turns. Can I survive this? I mean, I'm pretty bulky. I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty bulky. I was not bulky enough. I, I most certainly was not bulky enough. I still threaten with Trick Room Dragon Energy. I think I have two turns left of Trick Room. I might be wrong. I, I might have miscounted. There's the Volt Switch as he intimidates me once more, but my Body Press will KO that thing, is the good part. And a Dragon Energy will also KO the Landorus in one hit, unless it's a Salt Vest, which we don't know yet. The only thing is I don't know if I should lock myself into Dragon Energy yet. Yeah, he's within range of Body Press. My Gyro Ball is getting pretty weak. How many turns of Trick Room? Two turns. Yeah, I think I can win. Um, I don't even have to Body Press into the Metagross. In fact, I can Gyro Ball here into the Landorus. And Dragon Energy as well, just to ensure I get damage. Yeah, because that'll pick up a double KO. Watch my... Oh my god, if he's minimum speed... If he's minimum speed Metagross, I just misplayed hard. Okay, we're good. We actually KO that thing. Got this dragon energy. So in case he actually was, um, in case he actually was the assault vest set, I think that just secured the KO there. Here's the bad part: stack attack is taking a lot of damage here, and I am locked into dragon energy. So if I don't one shot this Tapu Coco, I, I just lose. And he also has to be a faster Metagross. He absolutely has to be a faster Metagross here. 
I'll rock slide. So I can maybe flinch, and I'll just drag an energy. Wow, this is such a bad play. There's the max guard, he fails, so dragon energy will pick up a KO here. I get my rock slide. Does like nothing, but hopefully I can flinch. Dragon energy just into the Metagross. If his electric train runs out, I might be able to win still. I need the flinch here though, I think. I definitely need the flinch. Hey, we got the flinch. Gonna take some hail damage. I think I could take a Thunderbolt from Tapu Koko now. And he doesn't know I'm choice specs, so I might be able to do this. How many turns of hail? Because that determines whether or not I... There's one turn of hail left. I'm going to trick room again. It gives me the best chance of winning. And I have to drag in energy. Oh, God. I need to get to struggle really quick. There's a Thunderbolt. He knows. He knows. Okay, good game. So, unfortunately, we do take the L there. And we are locked into a Dragon Energy that does nothing. You know what would be really funny? It would be really funny if he was Choice Specs right now. And we struggle him to death. I'm going to see. Maybe he'll lock himself into Thunderbolt. Maybe, maybe he is locked into Thunderbolt. Because we haven't seen a Life Orb yet. Oh my god, he Specs. This man Specs. Bro. Oh, he caught a crit too. I'm just doing this for the meme now. I want to see. Yeah, he's absolutely choice specs. Okay. Well, I can't even click the struggle for the meme, so I'm out of here. I am out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, it was a close game. If I actually ended up KOing that, um, that Metagross with the Max Quake, we would have won right there. But unfortunately, you know... A little bit bulkier than I thought. And we'll continue battling. Ow. <laughs> okay, we're going to face Kuhn rank 8. And he looks like he has a pretty interesting team. It's very, very weak to Glacier. Uh, at least on, on the surface level, it looks pretty weak to Glacier. It has a really bad Trick Room matchup as well. Actually, under Tailwind, he doesn't really do much to... I, I just went with Tailwind, actually, now that I look at it. Now that I really look at it, uh, Tailwind's the play. So I go Whimsicott, I go um, Regidrago on lead. If he doesn't lead off with a Fairy, that's fine. Because uh, I just sweep pretty much. Cinderace in the back, and I think my last Pokemon has to be... I think it has to be Indeedee, just for the redirection. And also, if he does manage to get a Steel Spike off with the Metagross, I can just helping hand the G-Max Fireball to KO. See if they lead off with a fairy. No fairy on lead, so honestly, not too bad of a lead for me. Uh, what I can actually do here is tailwind up to match what I believe is going to be a tailwind from his end, and this actually guarantees I knock him out with um, G Max Fireball the next turn. So I'll just tailwind, go for my uh, Dragon Energy, despite the fact that he's likely going to be going for a Dynamax on the Metagross. It just nets me a lot of damage on the on the um, Suicune, and also a lot of damage on the Metagross since it's. Uh, Dynamaxing. Because, like, yeah, it resists the hit and it's Dynamaxing, so it's technically quartering the damage it would have been from a neutral attack, but it's still a lot. <laughs> it's still a lot when you consider all that. And his Tailwind isn't priority, so I have that as well. I actually might. I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely not one shot in the Suicune, unless it's like a super fast variant. But I'll be doing a lot here. As they Dynamax, that looks like the Metagross. Yeah, Heavy Ball. Imagine a Heavy Ball Suicune. 
You're just you're just making fun of it because of its weight. <laughs> so I'll get some chip damage here. Tailwind up. And we'll drop this nuke on his team. As he does survive, he'll get his own tailwind up, but I actually got enough chip damage where I'm pretty certain I'm going to KO him next turn with max fireball. Especially if he decides to steal spike into my, um, my, not my, my Aleki, what is it called? My, um, <laughs> why can't I remember your name, you stupid Pokemon? Especially if he decides to steal spike into my Drago, which it took me so long to get that word out of my mouth that he just didn't. He just didn't. Alright, what I want to do here is I want to send in the Cinderace and threaten him with it. What I actually do here is, um, I'll go for a max airstream into his... Yeah, I should always go for the max airstream into the Suicune, because what he could try to do here is go for an Icy Wind onto my side of the field, making me slower than him. And I think he should always max guard the, the Metagross here, so max airstream makes the most sense, in my opinion. And we can go for this Dragon Energy, which it'll be single target on the Metagross, so even though we're not at full HP, it'll, it will be doing more damage than the previous turn. In fact, a significant amount more, I believe. Since it's not splitting the damage between the uh, Suicune and the Metagross. As they withdraw that, what am I going to catch here? Is it the Dragonite? Please let it be the Dragonite. Oh, Sylveon, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm getting good damage here. Especially if they decide to protect. Tell me you max guarded the Metagross, because I don't see a situation where you shouldn't have done that. I mean, I think I still just win with a really, really fast uh, Cinderace plus Indeedee, regardless of what happens. We see the max guard, call it correctly. And this is going to be a very powerful max airstream. We almost get the one shot. It'll actually probably go down to hail damage. Dragon energy hits nothing. Oh, it almost it almost goes down. Okay. Well, I want to save this. Um, I want to save this Reggie Drago for the end game because it's actually pretty okay versus Suicune. What I'll do here is I'll go for the Max Fireball into the Metagross now and actually switch in the Indeedee. Okay. Because the Sylveon goes down next turn. Since I'm not overriding the weather. And I also prevent a possible quick attack, which would be really funny. There's the G-Max Fireball. This will definitely knock out the Metagross from this range. Yeah, that thing's gonzo. And the Hail will knock out this Sylveon. So I'm in a pretty good spot. I still have one more turn of Dynamax. Uh, I have no attack drops, and I can Helping Hand my next attack. Suicune's already pretty low. And that isn't doing much to my Cinderace. Take some hail damage. Indeed, he does not because of the safety goggles. And down goes the Sylveon. We're in a pretty good spot here. In fact, what I might do to be cheeky is I might just switch out the Indeed, go for a max airstream into that uh, Suicune, and drop a massive Draco Meteor on the opponent. All right, there's the Arcanine. And I don't think I lose, regardless of what I do. So what I want to do is just play it very cheekily. I want to make sure I'm faster than this thing with my um, with my Regidrago, and I want to get the win with that Pokemon. So we'll switch in the Regidrago here and go for the Max Airstream into the. Oh no, we just get the <laughs> we just get the forfeit there. So nice, a very nice session. We end up uh, going two and one today. Uh, unfortunately, lo losing in the lower tiers is a little bit more detrimental to your your climb than it is uh, higher up. Uh, just because it takes a while to actually get out of these tiers. Because you, you end up gaining less points every time you lose, I believe. Like, it takes a couple of wins in a row in order to um, 
to actually gain the same amount of points as you would from consecutive wins. Let me see uh, what my ranking at the end of the at the end of the session is. Like I said, usually I start the series um, when I'm already in Master Ball tier, but this season I might as well start a little bit earlier. Okay, yeah, mid mid Great Ball tier, so not the best. We'll get there in like one or two more sessions. Maybe if I do a, a live stream getting to Master Ball tier, I'll get there before the next video, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.